All right, so let's see what a visual automated visual phasing project looks like when you hit the end in Borland Genetics. And this is a feature that I just just pushed tonight. It just went live. Um, I'm calling it the reveal for visual phasing, but it's uh, it's just your results. Hello, I'm the Creeper. Congratulations on completing this visual phasing workflow. We have no tasks remaining here. If you need help deciding what to do next, you can either go to your main Creeper project, or you can hop to any other incomplete smart project you may have created. Or, of course, feel free to examine your results in the section above. Okay, so now let's go up to the section above. And this is brand new. This is just went live a few minutes ago. And so this is only a two sibling reverse, uh, sib uh, sorry, it's visual phasing project using my mother and her sister. And so otherwise you can, you know, scroll down to different sibling pairs, but there's only two siblings here. Um, so let's go to select chromosome. We're on one. Two. And you see it updates. If you, had, you know, if there were more than multiple siblings, more than two siblings, you could also go to the sibling pair and it would change it instantly like this to the, you know, whatever information you're requesting. So let's take a look at this. This one's pretty complete. So let's take a look at what's going on in the seven regions that are identified here. Uh, the first region, it was only able to resolve paternal. Uh, and this is the paternal phase of both my Aunt Barbara and my mother. So you see one of them, uh, my Aunt Barbara, in, inherited DNA from her paternal grandmother, whereas my mother inherited inherited from my paternal grandfather, or from her uh, paternal grandfather, sorry. So that means my Aunt Barbara got uh, Lemko DNA there, whereas my mother got, got Polish Cessna DNA there. Uh, and then in region two, it couldn't resolve the maternal side, um, but it's consistent with the fact that, that it shows the region as being NIR. It's black on the region chart there. Um, they're not, you know, they, they're not the same. And also the maternal ones aren't the same. We just don't know which is which. Uh, there's not enough information. Okay, then on region two, which goes from five megabase pairs to 31 megabase pairs on chromosome four, it's a HIR region. And my Barbara got her paternal DNA, as did my mother, from the Cessny side, from our Polish side, whereas uh, my, my Aunt Barbara got uh, DNA from our rice side, our maternal grandfather, her maternal grandfather, whereas my mother got in, uh, DNA from the Dow side, uh, which is her maternal grandmother. So, and that explains why they're HIR, because the paternal side is the side that matches, whereas the maternal side does not match. Then you got an FIR region there, and uh, the change is definitely on the maternal copy. We don't know which of my Aunt Barbara or my mother changed. Uh, need more data there. Um, however, you, we know that one of them changed. Uh, one of them, and, and since we're going back to H HIR, half identical, on region 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, then we know the opposite sibling changed. So first, my, you know, maybe it was my mother that changed on the maternal side, and then at the beginning of, and that's at the beginning of region 3, and then maybe my Aunt Barbara changed uh, at the beginning of region 4, but or vice versa. All we know is that the end result here is that in region 4, which is here, uh, the maternal side has switched for both siblings. Region five goes back to NIR, and that's consistent with the diagram here because you see my Aunt Barbara changed from, yeah, from, from Polish to Lemko, and my, and, but her maternal side, the Lithuanian side, said the same. Whereas my mother did not change, she is uh, Polish paternal on this on this segment here on this region, and so she doesn't match my aunt Barbara. And not only that, she is um, 
getting DNA from the maternal grandfather, whereas Aunt Barbara is getting it from the maternal grandmother, and that's why they're in IR. They're not the same. Neither of these are the same across that region. Uh, then we're back to HIR on, on region 6, and that's because my mother changed, and she changed on her maternal side. She went from, uh, from rice to douse. And then the last segment, we don't have enough data to tell who changed, but it's NIR, and we already are coming in with the with the paternal strand on opposite phase, and we just don't know whether my mother or my Aunt Barbara switched phase at the at the tip of the chromosome there, which would happen quite quite a bit. The tips of chromosomes are kind of hot spots for recombination, so we just don't know which one. We need some more data, and it's possible sometimes that these tips are small. It may just be that. Uh, they may be too small to generate a match unless you happen to have a match that that it you know to one of them that goes from the you know somewhere in region six all the way to the end uh, in which case you can resolve it even though that's a small but anyway there's not a, there's not a lot of data yet um, I mean there's there's about you know we're, we're approaching 4,000 kits in the database um, which is great but you know it, we need a million so that's a that's a goal all right, um, well, this is what automated visual phasing looks like. And, you know, if you go through more chromosomes, you, you'll see some have better results than others. Four was pretty good, which is why I stopped there. Six is pretty lousy. <laughs> doesn't have any data. Uh, it must not have been any stranger matches on, on chromosome six. And that'll happen. That's kind of neat. Um, all right, well, that's it for now. I guess the next uh, next thing I'm going to work on, I'm going to take a little break from coding for a while because I have a lot of other issues I need to do um, related to Borland genetics, but I, I've got to prepare for some webinars and things like that. And I'll keep you posted, but probably get back to coding in another maybe three weeks or so. All right. See you soon.